You know, you just talked of objectivity. And that is something that is so lacking in the Francophone world, in the Francophone mentality. And, and, because, of, and because they lack that objectivity, they also lack listening skills. Mm -hmm. So, when this thing started in 2016, give and take, mm -hmm. the lawyers said, we don't like Francophone magistrates in our courts. We don't like civil law being indirectly introduced into our courts. We want to bring, uh, we want our, our common can. law to reign in our territory. Let's sit and talk on how we resolve that. Then the teachers say we don't like our students being taught in foreign languages that they don't understand. Let's discuss so that we regulate that situation. Mancho came and said, we're digging our roads. I mean, you bring these people and they destroy our properties and then we are supposed to be the ones. Do you know that in the United States, any utility company that works outside of your home, they are the ones paying for it mm -hmm. because they are responsible to bring, to bring that utility to your home. You only pay for anything that they do within your home. Mm -hmm. Right? So here's what, um, that's what the, the lawyers ask. La Republique ignores them ignores them in, in request number two ignores them when our people rise up ignores them when our people ask for uh federation ignores ignores them when they form the consortium they picked up that bala picked up bbc mancho some escape out of the world and then instead of addressing this problem paul Bia goes and creates his own problem and then create a solution called bilingualism commission as a solution did did we say we, we we lack bilingualism how many what's the ratio between anglophones being bilingual and francophones being bilingual can you just can you just can you just guess you know, all, all ambazonians are bilingual because that is a means of survival they know? have to they have to be yeah. so so we don't need bilingualism now multiculturalism you just talked about a war going on and they are uh, uh, citizens of the republic living among us as expatriates mm -hmm. they live as expatriates because each of them can come and take your land knowing that when they go to court you will lose that case mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. they can they are living in now and while we are being tortured and killed they are not being touched mm -hmm. we haven't touched them so do we need multiculturalism well i think uh Bobe Jua, who, who was before you go to Bobe Juapa. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to say that uh, mm -hmm. you were t you talked about objectivity, and I'm saying these are people who you present a problem to them, they forget about that problem because they still look at you as their slave. Mm -hmm. They go and create their own problem and say, you know what, I think you're having a problem because you are not francophone. So we're going to try to make you francophone. We're trying to make you culturally as francophones. That's my interpretation of what the bilingualism is. Yeah. That 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 you know all these points you've mentioned put them aside we want you to be bilingual we want you to be culturalized we want you just just the same like like the friend said we are going to pick someone who is uh, french we, we are, who is well cultural in the french language and everything and making the press you see you see how you see how this thing starts from top to bottom yeah and uh, that is not the, I mean. so let me just finish by so so this bilingualism commission has been going around now discuss what they have been what they what they've been experiencing no you know uh, let me add on to what you just said create, solving their own problems you know the, the when they say the 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 francophone teachers will be drawn from the classes they went and said they were going to recruit 1000 bilingual teachers right you, yes you remember that mm -hmm. so that is still trying to solve their own problems instead of addressing the problem before let me just add that and i also understood somebody told me that most of the English speaking uh, journalists on CRTB are all francophones. Well, yeah, probably most. I don't, I don't know. That is, most of them. That's what somebody told me. I haven't verified that, but, but I just found that interesting. And that's the same thing you're saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't pay attention. They are not journalists. I mean, those are announcers. Uh, they, they, are, they are not journalists. They are mouthpieces. Yeah, because we have not seen any journalism practice in that country in any way, shape, or form. Yes. Except that lady with uh, uh, Isa Chiruma on Equinox TV. Carol, was, Carol, something. Yeah, that was. Somebody, I haven't seen her on TV again. What's uh, going on with her? Probably they have fired her. I don't know, but um, uh, Mr. Musonge, 
has been going around with his Balingualism Commission that they want to listen to the people. So they came to Bamenda and the people spoke as I was talking, Bobejwa spoke to, to him and spoke candidly. And some of the times he said, unfortunately, I know you don't have any power, just like the Prime Minister, you don't have any power. But we had had this conversation in 1992, 1993. We went on to 1994, this is our, our conference too. We proposed things to them. They never listened. They went and did their own thing. So now they send Mosonge to come go around and say they are doing a listening tour. Listen for what? The people had told you right from the beginning what they wanted. Philomen Yang, a boy mature, wrote. He wrote. Explaining the whole thing. That look, and that is, this is one of the Francophones, uh, like public citizens that we forgot to mention. Because he clearly articulated to them what the problem is and how they could solve that problem. In fact, at the limit where he understood it. Yes. You know, in fact, he was more institutional. He was more institutional in his, in his, uh, in his description. If you were to go down to personal levels, you know, let me say this here. Uh, the, the problem that the public has right now is that every single Ambazonian has felt their pain right to the bone. Yes, because at the, he was, uh, Aboy Bachar came out when these things were still, the, the people were still advocating for, let's look for a way. We want to govern ourselves. We don't want some kinky head sitting in Yaoundé and telling us what to do. So that is when he came out and his recommendations, they were ignored as usual. This guy was in France, he was in Switzerland, he was enjoying himself over the place and they were killing our people while they were doing that. So the bilingualism commission, the interesting thing about it, and this is where you know that these people are very, very, very stupid. And I always use my words, like I tell you, I choose my words carefully. And stupidity is not one of the things that we, we should be living with in the 21st century. Yes. Because there's, there's abundance of knowledge everywhere. And let me tell you how they are stupid. If you look at the final communique that came out from their listening uh, session in Bamenda, they are talking about bringing back Ahijo's cops from, from Senegal. Who in Ambazonia cares about Ahijo's cops? What has that got to do with it? You know, I read those bullet points and I'm... And I, so, no, listen, that is, I want to explain that stupidity. Yes, go ahead, please. They forgot that we now live in the Android generation where people can share what Bobe Joa said and other speakers. Dualism, multiculturalism, viva and Sam. Mr. Chairman, we don't have any problem with bilingualism. We don't have any problem with multiculturalism. We don't, for Christ's sake. We have a problem with Vivre and Sam. Not Vivre and Sam in the sense of eating a chu or eating ndole or wearing the aguada or wearing the uh, Northwest uh, Dala. No, that's not the problem. The problem is one of recognition. The Anglophone problem it's what we have before us. Can you address it like the Anglophone problem? Let us stop deceiving ourselves in this country where a people freely came to meet their brothers who were already independent so that we could form one country and see how we could forge ahead to leave a better place for our children to come. But what do we have? One of annexation, assimilation, where there's so much ignorance on the history of this country, where there's so much arrogance on the part of a few who are chopping fat on the resources of this country, where there is marginalization, where there is uh, arrogance, I dare say, total arrogance which is unacceptable until we change our ways there is no way forward for us together if we do not change our ways it is unfortunate mr chairman that you are only an organ of transmission i wish you had a lot more powers to be able to effect change 
and that information is out there on the social media for everybody to consume. Yes. Then with your stupidity, because you still live in the unknown generation, you think that you can go and print out some bullet points and write it down and go read it on CITV and then hope that people will believe. We had gone past that era yes. where you had monopoly of information. Now that information is shared in real time. It was in real time. I was going to say it was shared before he even went and gave it to his, to his so, boss. How stupid can you be, sir, that you will go and sit down and begin to lie to yourself? So that is the level of... That, that, and I am sorry for these guys because that is how low you can stoop and disgrace yourself. Somebody stands in front of you and articulates what the problem is and what you should be addressing. He told you that the problem is not dressing with an abada like I'm sitting right here. It is not eating a bongo chobi. It is not eating kum kum. Huh? Those are not the problems. We don't have cultural issues. We don't have b b bilingual issues. We are the most bilingual people in that country. And you go and you are talking about bringing a hideous cop from Senegal and thinking that nobody heard about it. I wasn't there. Again, that's creating their own problem and solving so, it. So... So, that is how stupid you are. That is how stupid you are. And I think your children should be ashamed that because you are ready to play clientele politics, you will stoop that low. Your parents should be ashamed of having sent you to Sase. Because I don't think that is the kind of education you were given in Sase. But one of the, one of the things you understand is that uh, you have to be that kind of a person to serve in that government exactly I'm if like, you you're right if he were to write the right thing i let me tell you a little story that i heard i heard that there was an anglophone um i don't know if he was a coach or something he traveled with a soccer team and and went and spent money and brought the rest that he didn't spend and returned it to the <laughs> to they the they oh no he was gone you were supposed to bring that money and call your boss and share it with or, or, or don't or don't or don't take care of the of the of the soccer players and bring the money and share with your boss you